Along the southern shores of Lake Superior is a 60,000 acre park known as the Porcupine Mountains Wilderness. As a group of four, we visited this wonderful place for six days in the middle of winter for cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. We stayed in three different primitive cabins, two of which were only accessible by ski or snowshoe. This is the story of our trip. We're calling this the Gitchigumi Tour. That's the Native American name for Lake Superior. We're gonna be a little inland at a cabin Union River cabin for three nights, then the Whitetail cabin right on the lake shore for one night, and then the Guchigumi cabin for the last two nights. We're on our way, heading to Union River cabin, probably five miles, and we got a lot of cargo. How's it going? <laughs> I'm nervous. That's how it's going. Yeah, just give us a little analysis for what's going on here. I took off my skis and then uh, walked down the hill, eventually got back in them and then promptly fell over. Technical problem here. Cowgirl to the rescue. Thank you. Okay, there goes the pulk puller and the pulk sled and there's a pulk cam on there we'll see what happens Arrive. i just did a face plant it hit the brakes at the end and it was like <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's a little warmth in here. A lot of warmth in here. Yeah, stuff. Like I said, this, there's still some heat in the stove. And this is our dining table and a view out the window. What we didn't do before leaving the house is check to make sure this filter is still functional. And maybe it's dried up or mold has grown in it or what. You can see it's dripping at an ultra slow rate. So we have Nan over here with plan B. Pot of water and watching it and waiting for it to boil. And plan C is yeah. just tablets. Have, yeah. Plan D is just drink wine. We have enough of it. We ate a little lunch and we're heading out again on skis to Union Spring. The spring itself. Skiing over the Union River right here. Union Spring is frozen over. Who lives in there, I wonder? Not now. <laughs> Hello, is anybody home? Five twenty-three in the evening. Use up the day. This is dinner tonight. It's uh, pasta with tomato sauce and olives mixed in. We're going to get water out of Union River. Five, we're heading out for the day and uh, hoping to get up to the escarpment trail today, but we'll see how it goes. At last, untrodden territory.
we're on the big hemlock trail just climbed over a big hemlock that was down it was quite the undertaking and these are gorgeous hemlocks here we took the skis off trying to get around that deadfall and knee deep or deeper is what the snow is and you can't really walk in it at all Switch to snowshoes because it's a pretty good hill we're going up. The wind is vicious up here. One thirty. it's coffee time. We're six hours into the day. We're back in the forest. Well, we got up onto the escarpment trail way up on the ridge above Lake of the Clouds. It was really windy and blustery and we were both losing temperature fast. We didn't spend too much time up there. Turn around, got off of that. And spent the next hour plus trying to regain body heat. But we're back and we're feeling good and maybe an hour to go but it's awesome it feels great and we're gonna eat a lot of food when we get back looks like 11 miles for the day hard ones though we shush till we couldn't shush no more <laughs> Getting snow, what's that for? This is how they told me to clean the pot. Oh, okay. Elaine's cleaning the pot. <laughs> While she's cleaning the pot, I'm shirking my duties. Here we go. Why is it you're here in the middle of the woods in the Porcupine Mountains in the middle of winter? I'd been drinking a lot and Ted asked me if I wanted to come and it was just a momentary lapse in reason and I said yes. What are we having for breakfast tomorrow? <laughs> Granola. I have to leave now. It's about five o'clock and ski down in the dark and, and just, it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as I'm back before breakfast. Where is the granola? In the van. Woohoo! one! Day three, and we're gonna go take go off trail again the so-called flagged route which is not really flagged <clears throat> see if we can pick our way through there up to the lost creek yurt which is not open in the winter looks like about 12 miles she doesn't think we're on the trail <laughs> but we're in a winter wonderland It's hardest downhill ever. <laughs> it's amazing. Not huh? very steep, but on cross country skis, we had no control. Uh, Makes yeah. it exciting at six miles an hour. <laughs> we just got to the other end of the flagged route. Lost Creek Yurt, and this is a yurt that's not rented out in the winter. It used to be, but it's really far, as we found out just coming here today. We were pretty whipped when we got done with the flag route and we're gonna take the Lost Lake Trail back to the hut, but it's probably gonna be rough going, so we opted to take the snowmobile highway, which is just as far, maybe even a little farther, but it's faster skiing. They're all pretty courteous. You can hear them coming from a mile away, even though it's not appealing for skiing. It's a nice, easy way to go. You need to cover some distance. Are you glad to be done? Very, very glad to be done. It was a long day. We're ready for blackberry brandy. 
7.20 a.m. Heading up to the East Vista for sunrise. And 22 degrees this morning, really calm air. It's kind of beautiful. And about three miles uphill almost the whole way. So it takes us an hour to get there. Failings, sledding, with high deductible health insurance and no life insurance. Okay, we're checking out a Union River cabin. Bye, Union River cabin. Thank you. Happy trekking. We'll see you at the parking lot or Whitetail or something. Back at the car for a resupply, and then we're off to the whitetail cabin. You've been drinking brandy? Brandy. Steep and deep. sticking out of my head. <laughs> this indicates it's privileged folk only, like us. Yay, we're at the White Tail Cabin. Everybody's got sticky skis, so tonight everybody will wax. We don't judge. Oh, wow, this is amazing. And this is water for tonight, a chunk of snow. We're walking out of the cabin into the wild sound of the surf.
like a slushy volcano. decorating reindeer cookies. Heading out to go get Nate and Elaine's car. It's a storm. Nate's feeling bad. He's been rough all week and it is limit, so they're gonna start heading home early. We just did our last ski, did the deer yard trail, which is beautiful, through some hemlock forest, and we saw three deer, and we were both feeling pretty pooped out. We were gonna do a much longer ski, but we thought, let's just come back to the cabin, relax, and the wind is whipping, temperatures are dropping. It's beautiful, it's getting hard, and when you're tired, it's even harder. Get you groomy. 